Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to design this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and format the background with two step radial gradient. Change the direction through center and change the stop colors to light blue and white color. Next go to insert tab and draw a rectangle shape. Align it centrally to slide and remove its outline. Also increase its transparency to see through. Now holding down control and shift keys, drag this rectangle shape to create duplicates. There must be a total of 4 duplicates, 2 on either side. We can also change the fill color of every rectangle shape so that we can identify very easily. Next go to insert tab and draw a circle shape through center holding down control and shift keys and the circle shape must fit between all the rectangle shapes as shown. Remove its outline. Change its fill color and increase the transparency to see through. Next go to selection pane and hide this circle shape and we will make use of it at the later stage of our design. Now go to insert tab and draw a oval shape. Remember it's not a perfect circle and the size of this oval shape must be bigger than all the rectangle shape. Remove its outline, change its fill color and increase its transparency to see through. Align this oval shape in such a way it must cross through the edges of all the rectangle shape along the vertical axis as shown. Now duplicate this oval shape using Ctrl plus D and place it as a mirror image and make sure it crosses the same edges along the vertical axis. Next we will select both the oval shape and intersect them together. Now let's remove half of the portion from this design by subtracting a rectangle shape. Since we have 5 rectangles in our design, we will duplicate this shape 5 times using Ctrl plus D and place them one over the other at same position. Now select all these duplicate shapes and align them centrally to slide. Now these are the important steps. Select one shape and one rectangle at a time and intersect both the shapes together and that will give 5 individual sections along that shape. Now select all these sections and group them together. Duplicate it using Ctrl plus D, flip it horizontally and place it as a mirror image. Finally ungroup all the shapes. Now go to selection pane and unhide the original circle shape and then send it to back. Next we will format each sections with two step linear gradient. Change the direction and stop colors using eyedropper tool. The only trick here is the gradient direction of all the shapes must be in the same direction. Once we format upper two sections with two step linear gradient, apply similar gradient pattern to other sections using format painter. Now change the gradient colors of all the sections using eyedropper tool.
let's speed up to save time. Next we will format this circle shape with 3 step radial gradient and the gradient stop colors must be in such a way the left and the middle gradient stop must be of white color and the right side stop color must be of light gray. Adjust the stop positions to get the desired effect as shown. Next apply outer shadow effect to this circle shape and increase its size and blur values to get a 3D effect. Next go to insert tab and draw a rectangle shape with height equal to each of these sections. Now we will create a cut section at the end of this rectangle shape. So to do that, let's draw another rectangle shape, rotate it by 45 degrees and then subtract this rectangle from the original rectangle shape. Now remove the outline from this rectangle shape, send it to back and change its fill color to white. Next duplicate this rectangle shape 4 more times using Ctrl plus D and align it along the each sections as shown and also make sure to send all these rectangle shape at the back of our design. Select all the rectangle shapes, apply outer shadow effect and adjust the size and blur values until we get desired shadow effect. Now select all the shapes and align the design as per our requirement. Finally, we will create a shadow effect at the bottom of our design using ellipse shape. Remove its outline and format it with two step path gradient. Change the left side stop color to dark gray and set right side stop color to 100% transparency. Next go to soft edges feature and increase its value until we get desired shadow effect. Finally, place this shadow effect at the bottom of our design. Send it to back and adjust the size if required. Finally, add all text fields and PNG icons onto our design. Make sure the text and the PNG icons must be of white color. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview, hope you all liked it, please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.